So today we're throwing a whole bunch of creatures in a box and seeing who comes out on top. You have some little things like this bird here that can just go right over here and then a plin butterfly thing right next to it. And then when they link together, this guy actually doesn't use energy. And we can turn you around to link up with you the other way. Just a little upside down burb. So we gain some haste there. And then we can use this Pedro raccoon here as well. That when he's linked, uses less energy. But it's still a lot of energy. Hopefully though, we come out on top in this duel here. So all the monsters will go at each other. And they're taking a lot more damage. This is very good. But we also use so much energy. Thankfully though, their monsters don't really hit as hard. So we win. And we have a lot of battles ahead of us too. But now between rounds we can get some more monsters and I probably want someone to replace this high energy raccoon here Although he does so much damage and I'm not really liking the vibe of any of these things So let's re-roll a little bit there's a giant duck that we can get that also uses quite a bit of energy, but it's not as much. And there's a lot of available fusions there. So much it runs off the page. So let's replace the raccoon with you and shove you somewhere agreeable, like right here. And somehow the duck isn't this air element, which is a little sad. It's a duck. I love that description. But it looks like it needs some rare essences to fusion with. But we don't have any of those available right now. Ooh, but we can grab a second plin to put over here to also use less energy and I think I can shove you into this zone here and then move you over to be somewhere more agreeable so we could put them end to end like this that should work and then whoops shove the bird right there beautiful now they're all still linked together and our energy usage is still looking really good and then we might as well use the last coin to get one more reroll and see if there's anything worth keeping like a third butterfly? Not really what I want. We'll just have to finish this fight and get better things in. Whoa, okay, they got some upgraded monsters already. This is gonna be a little dangerous. Hopefully though, we do a lot more damage and everything's attacking. Oh, the duck is missing things. We are taking a whole lot of damage here because they also dealt acid damage to the shield. Either way, we lost, which is unfortunate because that took away one of our lives. But now we get access to upgrades. Ooh, we could gain some spike damage. That'll hurt them when they hit me. I think I like that one the best. And we are running pretty low on space here, so let's get another square zone to go in the square hole. And I'm just gonna keep re-rolling until I see something better. Ooh, here we go. Amira, this is what the other guy had. Or we get a... You get a slimy and they both like this fire essence here and we can get all of them but who do i want to merge with first and i think we'll stick with the mira for the fire essence because it does a lot of damage already so it should do even more with emerging the slimy will have to wait but at least it's linking with the duck for less energy consumption there it's still a little high but i think we'll be okay and we can also buy some regeneration here that should be good so hopefully it deals better here and oh they have a couple of butterflies there too but either way the thorns are are doing very good for us and they are taking so much more damage this mira is being very good right now that's another win and the mira merged to a fire mira which now wants a fire kepri to fusion again oh i like the sound of fusing again and now it also has the fire element on it so we could get some other fire things oh look at fire slimy here it's about time you had your turn oh this is a critical zone to give crit chance to things i think that'd be good for a mira to have and let's just reroll a few times to get some more things of those air or maybe some fire elements too. Ooh, this one increases accuracy by linking. I like the sound of that. It is a bit more energy consumption, but hopefully we'll be okay because they, okay, so it looks like they have a lot of water things and a whole lot of buffs to them. Well, I do too. And we both have regeneration, but they don't have spikes. They just have energy regeneration increase. I would like that, but it looks like I'm not really needing it right now either because there's a lot of damage that happens. So they they get beaten by a huge margin. Excellent. And now we have a little fire slimy that has a link thing. Ooh, some cooldown reduction. Pair you up with Mira here. Ooh, a baby dragon can merge with these things. I like that. I like a little baby dragon. And a collude can merge with fire essence as well. Ooh, and you have a special link with a caster. That's what the slimy is. It's such a weird name. And we can't get both of these. So let's get you here. And then we need a better spot for you. Probably just here. Stick you there and then stick this here. So we're getting more fire things. Ooh, a rare fire essence. How do you like that? Okay, they both do the same. 
but we'll hold on to it. I'm hoping the high energy cost... Oh, wow, that's a lot of the matchsticks. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of burning happening. It's actually pretty close in this battle. We just gotta hope that they have worse accuracy, which they kind of do, but we also don't have energy. Oh, my goodness. This is being very close right now, and I think we lose. Darn it. But... That's okay, because things merge, and this is meteors, which gives burn, decreased accuracy, and decreased healing. That is insane. And then you want the caster link still there, so you trigger faster, and then you get the rare fire element. Yes, get you right over here. Beautiful. Ooh, we can get this zone here for better hit points, so we can get you here, and then you here would work. But now this should work for us, and then I still have a little bit of money, so let's just keep rerolling. I don't think we need another dragon. Oh, wait. The duck wants this essence too to become a blaze duck. Maybe I should just reroll until I get another rare fire essence, which sadly didn't happen. I think a fire duck would just be hilarious. So we'll go with that. Okay. This guy has a little less things, so hopefully that means we do better. Oh yeah, we're doing way better. Look at that damage that's happening. And we are taking some, but the regeneration is keeping up a little bit. But look at that. They have three stacks of burning there. They have less healing effectiveness, which I guess they just don't have any healing at all. Okay, they have a little bit, but it's not as effective. Excellent. That was a very good thing to have. We either lose that right... Or we win by a lot. Love the synergy there. Whoa, this is no longer a duck. I don't care what you say, that is not a duck. Deals triple damage to shields. Very cool. So we can gain some extra regeneration for every two air cause minions we have. How many do we have? We have three. Oh, four, because of the clued. It's such a weird thing to say out loud. But that means we can get two more regeneration on top of the four that is here. Let's go for it. But where do we get the duck? Just needs a link with things so it can go right there and then you want to be linked with a sword type which is you i haven't really done anything with you because i haven't found the things that you need Ooh, the blaze duck also counts for that so let's move you up here and then get this so there's even more burns happening and then let's re-rolls to see if we can find a Kepri, whatever that means. Or maybe also just get some more storage space so we can fit more things in here. Whoa, but look at this epic fire essence. I need it. And it looks like we didn't get what we wanted this turn, which is too bad, but mostly fire should be good for us. Okay, they have a lot of water things, including whatever this is. That is a very fancy border. Oh my goodness. But the health numbers are being very neck and neck right now. Just need to do a little better on the regeneration, if you don't mind. It's keeping up a little bit, but we're not keeping up with the damage that we're taking. So that's too bad. We only have two hearts left and there's a lot of fights ahead of us. But we can afford both of these things. So you get the epic essence and then we can grab you to be somewhere to give a lot of warrior things some extra damage. And it looks like you would be best right here. So we'll slap you there and then move these things around and then reorganize a few more of these things. Okay, that should work. Oh, but you're losing all the benefits you were giving too. Okay, this looks like it's gonna work the best. Ooh, I like the looks of this box, maximum energy, which I might need to reorganize this so there's less energy being used, but we can worry about that later. Okay, you also have some high things happening right now, but you are taking more damage. Even though we have acid on ourselves, they're still getting so many burns. Look at that. And the thorn damage is helping too. Beautiful. So, oh, this is Hushan. And you get some fire links too for even more. More burns? Oh my goodness. I like the sound of this, but you're such an awkward shape. But I think this will be the best spot. And then you gotta go somewhere else. But I do want this energy zone, just for a little more maximum energy. Just gonna keep re-rolling a little bit, because I still wanna see if I can upgrade that Mira again. At the very least, another zone will help. We'll take another long zone to go over here, probably, and then slide you right there. But now you're not giving nearly the amount of buffs that you usually do. So I think we gotta keep you here. And then maybe just reorganize these. And I might need to buy this other thing thing. Just because getting these things lined up is very difficult right now. We'll do one more reroll. And yeah, nothing I want. So we'll grab you. That makes this easier. So we can get the most links that we can about fire. And there certainly is a lot of it. Alright, next battle. Okay, so you don't have as many but it looks to be some more high level things. But I think numbers might win here because we are inflicting so many burns. And they have some buffs that means they take less damage but it doesn't really matter when we're doing so much damage too and they are not very good about energy costs so we win this one so we might have to lean more towards fire and not as much towards these air things but the haste is good and the accuracy is good so there's not really anything i can give up right now Ooh, a defender zone to give us some starting shields would be good and we have a <laughs> 
parry. Parry the platypus? That would be really good in the defender zone. And I can afford that. But how much energy do you use? Actually, none. Ooh, that's even better. And then you like to link with nature things. So we can stick you right here. Just for a little bit more. So that's a lot of shields at the start. Which also cost all the money I had. But we can do this better by placing you in here for a little extra shields. And you're an air element too. So let's stick you down here just to free up space up here for future things. It should all work the same. And look at all of those shields that we had too. Oh my goodness, this has given us a major head start here. Even though they have just a whole lot of things, that's the keffer, er, keffers? Keppers that I need. They look like this. Okay, and that shield is really paying off right now. Oh, but they do some stuns. Doesn't matter, we win. Oh, and it's time for another buff, which looks like this is going to be the last one. Ooh, all cause minions consume less energy. Oh, I really like that idea. And it's such a big chunk of energy, too. I need it. Well, let's reroll. Now we know what to look for for those weird kepper things. And there is one. Oh, yes, and there is a fire element, too. Okay, so we need these two together to merge. Ooh, and you also get more shields. Oh, I need to spin you around. So that's it. Gain even more shields at the start. Oh, yes. Although we need to make sure that you're linking, which I guess they don't link diagonally. Can I stick you here? I might need one more thing, but there is another thingy here for regeneration. That would be good. Yeah, we'll stick you up here. Now we're doing everything right. And then we do still have a little bit of money to reroll. Oh, man, this guy gives major shields. But he doesn't really jive with anything I have right now. So let's... Maybe get some more zones. That'd be good. We'll grab this. Just to have it, I need to keep giving links to you. This is getting a little difficult to arrange. You're not really doing anything otherwise. We'll just hold on to this little regeneration guy. And then hold out so we can give this fire kepper a chance to merge. And oh, they also had shields. Okay, so it looks like theirs broke second. But there is a whole lot of burns happening too. And all they're doing is acid damage. So, okay... We are taking a little more damage. Oh, they got major regenerations happening. Oh, that's yikes. But we are also dealing a whole lot of damage right now. This is going to be close. It's going to come down to how good the regeneration is. And my goodness, four things of nine regeneration plus the 16 here. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We win. We're halfway through all the duels that we need. And there's a fire kepper. So you can, whoa, you have a extra thing there for a link, but we're going to stick you with Mira to make a fire kepira. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. Oh, and there's another maximum energy thing. Yes. What's going to go in there? I don't know. Maybe the kepper. And what even are these links? Fire links to gain shield at start. Okay, so that's a little worse than I had. I think I can work with that. And then more regeneration. Now, there is enough that Perry here could synergize with if he was in a better spot. So can this defender block go in a better spot? He gives more for his links than the defender box does for things just being in there. So we'll keep you in there and then synergize with all these. That should work very good. Just going to keep rerolling until I see something good. What good looks like, I'm not sure, but these maximum energy boxes are going to be good. And these air guys are starting to lose their numbers, but it should still be good. We could get this stonk stripes here, major stonks, for a little extra money every stage, but ultimately, I don't think it's going to be that much. Ooh, I didn't realize how good this guy was. Every time a debuff is inflicted, deal damage. I like that idea. And it... <laughs> <laughs> the name. I understand that reference. And you're just kind of a floater, aren't you? So we'll just stick you here to do the pose. Whoa, this fuses with the guy here? I need to hold on to this. And then survive this fight. Okay, so that's a lot of debuffs right away. And they're gonna keep doing more debuffs, so that means even more damage. And they don't have one of those. The problem is we're getting stunned a whole bunch. So hopefully our regeneration keeps up, but they have so much more regeneration too. That is using up like almost all the available spaces. That is crazy. What's also crazy is that even with everything they have, they're not really winning this. But look at how many stacks of burning I have. And look at how much burning they have. I could really use that fire fist in this case. But we win. And we have a fire Kapira now, which also does burn on hit. Ooh, and gain shields on links with fire. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. There's a, it's not a Pegasus. It's an Agicus. Sure. Oh, they both take the epic air essence. What do you do with it? Make an Aetherling. Well, this guy needs epic, nothing less. So we're going to go with you. Even more shields here and some cooldown reduction. Is there really a good spot for this? Maybe here and maybe here. We'll keep rerolling. Maybe there's more fire things that we can put there. Like would essence do it? Essence would probably do it just for a little more burns. Oh, another defender zone. And you would jive with that. Plus there's a perfect space for it right up here. So just for the sake of more shields, we're going to sticky here. There's a whole lot of fire links happening 
soon, but these guys are kind of being left behind. And it might be time to fuse these dribs together here that just coincide, but oh my goodness, I didn't even see you. Gains damage per two burns. Oh, oh wow. You're actually perfect for this. I need you. Okay, this looks a lot better. And then we'll stick you here to be useful to Blaze Duck. So let's go into it. Okay, also a lot of fire, but look at how many shields we have. That was 176. Oh my goodness. But they also got rid of it very quickly. That's kind of concerning, but we're also staying very full on energy. So even though the cost is high, we are able to do everything. That's a big advantage because they're they're not having good energy management here. All oh, those stacks of burning too. Oh my gosh, we have a power team right here. Amazing. Whoa, hello. Harry Plus looking like an airbender here. Gain 90 shields on start. And for every crit, gain even more shields. Wow. But you also are a very, very awkward shape. So I can still stick you here, but you also are not synergizing with anybody. You kind of do right here and then fit in that. And then these two here can be kind of good there. But there's also going to be less shields, so that's concerning. But now we can afford you. I'm going to buy you just to hold on to you, even though I don't really know where to put you yet. Unless we move you down here and then do this and then do this. And now we have things going. And thankfully, you don't need to link with anybody. But gaining more damage per things on the opponent. Oh, that's going to be insane. They take so much burns. How much energy are we using? Okay, that's actually not bad. And do we even get this now? I don't really know where to put you. And might as well, just to stick these two together. Oh, wait, better spot. Stick the hands right there. And then the burbs up here and then the fire essence can go there to keep up the synergies excellent this is better i really want to see this guy in action and whoa my goodness that's a lot of debuffs right away which thankfully also flicked back to them because of this guy and okay they're trying to get shields but they're losing them just as fast because I forgot who it was. Yeah, you do triple damage to shields. Okay, but it also looks like our health numbers are lower than theirs. Oh, and this guy's out of energy, so he can't do the attacks. Oh, no. Ooh, but 39 there when he does, it's just not happening as often as I would like. So really need to manage energy consumption in this next fight, which we unfortunately lose. So we just have one more life left. Need to be better about energy usage. So it might be time to trade in the air things, actually. And honestly, I think I like the shields that Perry gave us before he transformed. Because we were able to get so much. So let's sell you, bring you back, and then do this arrangement again with these little guys. And then are we able to get the bonfire in anywhere we can right here and then you link down that way so we can actually get oh not quite four but we can get four this way even better lots of health regeneration and you don't cost energy either and we still have a lot of money left over so another fast zone here would be good probably to swap this out with you so we can get you even faster to prioritize the energy consumption. Ooh, cause minions cost less energy in there. And then let's buy both of these zones for better energy usage and more healing. And then we gotta reorganize this a little bit to fit these in here. Okay, this is a bold move, but I'm gonna do this. I think I need to build around this guy primarily because he's not doing like any buffs otherwise. Okay, I think this is the best arrangement we're gonna get. We have an extra slot here that isn't being used right now, but everybody has maximum synergies going on right now, except for this guy, but he's buffing three of them and he's buffing the heavy hitters. So we should be able to do this. Oh boy, last chance here. Okay, that's a lot of water things. They have a lot of flow points or whatever those are, but they are also losing health incredibly fast. They got below a thousand before we did, which I like. And this guy's able to do his attacks too. Yes, 37 damage there, 44 damage. And their fire stacks just keep going up. Oh, that was a beautiful victory. Now, do I try to add something else? Oh, that's the hard thing. I kind of just want to go for things that don't use energy or maybe rearrange the zones to utilize the things better. Because we can also get another one of these calm zones. And since this long zone here is only using three slots, we swap this out and now they'll be using less energy. Plus another empty zone over here. Okay, time to reroll. See what things we can buff. Ooh, when opponents below 50% health, increase burn by 10%. That could be good. 
Oh gosh, the worst thing about adding new things is trying to rearrange to make it fit. Although I could put you here so you continue the synergies there and then fire essence here. That works. Our burns, oh my goodness, that's a lot of things. I was gonna say our burns are doing good. Hopefully they continue to do good. But this guy doesn't have shields at the start, so that's a huge advantage for us already. And the fireplace is healing us up very nicely as well, just to keep a little bit ahead of the damage. And also all those fire stacks. Oh no, but you missed! Why would you miss? 52 damage. Okay, you are forgiven. And 56 back to back. Oh, that is beautiful. We only have three more victories left. Oh, and there's more hands. Why does there have to be so many more things? But now we can get this Storangutan that doesn't use energy. I like this. And you also give shields. But whoa, you have a lot of area that you can synergize with. So I can just scooch you over. That should work fine. Oh, and more fire essence just to add even more burning things. But it also makes me nervous to see what they have, which is kind of all over the place, to be honest. That might do badly for them. And we are keeping up on health, so that's extra goodness. And they are also out of energy, whereas we are completely topped up. Wow! I didn't realize our energy production was that good. Oh, but man, this is getting to be a close fight. Oh, but we still won. They are getting closer. Whoa, that's a big zone. Five per Cosminion inside. That could be good. And there's another set of hands. Why is the game telling me to catch these hands? Either way, we're definitely getting this epic essence. And then we'll definitely stick you here for even more beautifulness. I don't even really have somewhere to put this unless I trade something out. We'll hold on to it. Ooh, we could get this electric essence on the side for more energy restoration, but we're already looking really good on energy restoration. But either way, okay, Let's just grab you for a little bit of money gains. Just for something extra. And then, okay, lots of sharks here. Oh, they also have a parry thing. So it's a lot of shields at the start, but they are completely out of theirs. And I still have 130, 150? Wow, that was coming back fast. So while they're losing health numbers, I am gaining shields that they have to take down. And wow, but there's a lot of burns on both sides of the field. But that's also working very badly for them because of this guy. So that's another win. We need just one more. More maximum energy is always useful. So we'll just take that. Ooh, this is why I need another calm zone, which doesn't really affect the things that I'm putting over here because of energy usage, but it should be fine. And then we can sell you probably, or just stick you. Yeah, I think I need to sell you. Sell you. Put the shields in here. So we can stick you up here for some little bit of shields. Oh, these two fuse. I didn't realize that. Can I afford to do that right now, though? I think it's worth checking out. Okay, last fight. Hopefully, they have a whole lot going on, including Doge. But I don't think that does anything. Just extra shields at the start. But we still have so many shields. And we're taking down their health. But they are doing some stunning here. This does a lot of damage when it stacks up. That's not good. And this is reduced accuracy. And we are still above 1,000 HP. They're down to 800, 700. Oh, gosh. Everything is falling very quickly. But we are still doing so much damage. Nice damage from Yogan here. I don't know how you say that, but everything is going down. A hundred burn and we win. Oh, beautiful. Tournament over and we are out on top with one health remaining. Actually, how far ahead were we at the very end there? We were up 500 HP and they were down 44 negative. Wow, I love that. That was insanely good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Neo Duel Backpack Monsters. And there was a whole lot more that we didn't get to. So if you guys want to see more of this game, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donomoto, DVNX, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drew Belong, Lily, The Minor Within, DeGarity, Sands, Isaac, V, Killer Squad, Mousy Mouse, Nicholas, and Lollipop.